Hello Internet folks, Brian Smith with Liberty Park Music once again. In the video on country music tone and getting a handle on how to get that traditional country sound, we talked about as a, an extremely important element of this sound using hybrid picking in order to achieve a real spanky sound. Hybrid picking being the use of the pick and the fingers at the same time in order to get some real snap by pulling on the strings. And uh, we said we were gonna go into it a little more in depth and that's what this lesson is all about. We're gonna try and give you some idea of the mechanics of how this hybrid picking thing works. Uh, we've come in here, we're kinda trying to look down towards the guitar so you can see what the fingers are doing here. So we're gonna be Picking with our pick, it's going to stay pretty much as it always is. For the purposes of this, we're just going to be playing the open A string with the pick, and we're going to be barring across the second fret of the D and G string for our fingers to work with. So, this is how it goes. The pick is going to do its normal pick thing that it always does. The pick, for the purposes of this, is as it always was. The fingers, however, are going to be something a little new to us, where normally if we're doing finger-picky stuff, we're just kind of letting the fingers hang out until they got to do their job, and then we run in and grab the string. For this, our fingers are going to be hanging out right on the string. Now, this isn't always going to be the case, but for the purposes of this, it's going to give us an idea of how this works, so you can kind of see how the fingers deal with the string. So, you'll see I've got my middle finger, and just behind it is my ring finger doing the exact same thing on the next string. The tips of these fingers are going to be resting on the side of the string here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put gentle pressure on the string and then pull away from the guitar to make it snap. Like that. Now, to make the pick and the fingers work together, we're going to leave these fingers on the string while we pick. See how they're not coming off? They're just kind of hanging out there. And then when the time comes, pick, and then we pluck. But if we take our fingers off and we let them float around until it's time for them to come down, then there's a lot more work involved in getting them to where we need to be. You can still do that, though. If we leave them off, you can see how that still kind of works. But if we have them down and ready in place, life will be easier for us. So just with me, go ahead and try doing a pick and a pluck. timid or gentle with the pluck. Make sure, make sure there's some muscle in it. Once you start getting comfortable with that, you can start moving around what your left hand's doing. So we're barring on the second fret now, but we can also move that up to the fifth fret and the seventh fret for a fun little... You can't really see what I'm doing, but all I'm doing is moving that bar on the second fret up to the fifth and seventh fret, and you can see how the right hand works there. And that's the important thing, is seeing how that right hand works. That grip on the side of the string, gentle pressure, and pulling away. 